Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Your person is feeling very scared and afraid. I feel like it's almost like your person's in a panic of some sort. Somebody here could really be depressed or they're beginning to have this panicking energy because they maybe haven't heard from you. They haven't spoken with you. They're very fearful. Somebody here is afraid and very miserable right now. <clears throat> miserable so to the point that they're really panicking, I'm telling you. And I feel like this person is hasn't like been vulnerable with you to let you know. You don't know this. They or they haven't expressed this. They haven't talked to you about it. I don't feel like they really talked to anybody about it. So I wouldn't be surprised if um I won't be surprised if we see the Emperor come out. Show me what's going on between the collective and that person, please. And thank you. The lovers could be a Gemini. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> so there's a choice here that somebody here needs to make. <laughs> the hangman energy. Pisces. Mm. Mm, somebody's thinking about something in a different way now. So this could just be like, okay, I didn't know what choice to make or, hey, I'm realizing I made the wrong decision. I didn't make the right decision. Two, <laughs> two of wands, like more indecision. It's like, okay, what's crazy is we got two cards of choice. The lover's card on one side of the hangman and then the two of wands on the other side. Someone here is clearly... Clearly, they know there's a decision that needs to be made here, collective. They've come to this conclusion. They've weighed the options, I feel like. I don't know if they made the decision or not, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're just waiting. They haven't made this decision. They haven't made this decision yet. I don't know why this person is waiting. They're sitting on their hands. Hmm. What is this person waiting on here? Can you tell me what this person is waiting on, please? Page of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be money. You could be an earth sign. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign. Somebody's waiting on... Seven of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles is definitely like somebody wants to invest in something. <clears throat> They're waiting on something to... Okay. How can I put this? Seven of Pentacles is like you putting your time, effort, and energy. Say you buy a plant, okay? You water the plant, you know, every other day. Once a week, you know, for three months. And then you finally get that seed and you're like, yes, it's ready, okay? Let me pull from the tree or, or whatever the, that the tree produces, right? You're able to, there's now something that you can pull from that tree. Because you put this time, effort, and energy into it. And it's like, okay, yes, now I have something very ripe here or something that I could do something with. So this person may be waiting for something in the background to happen. To make an offer of stability. You know, maybe give a gift here. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Either way, somebody's going from the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. The Eight of Pentacles is about somebody working really hard. I'm telling you, somebody put in some time and effort into it. Something they're seeing some sort of result, or they know they're gonna see this result. Okay, so this person could have felt like had they just put the time, effort, and energy into you, meaning growing it, nurturing it, loving it, you know. That it could have been something real. It could have been something stable. It could have been something worth of value. Um, but we'll see. What else is going on here? We've got a lot of um, Earth energy here. Pisces energy here. And Gemini energy here. Now we have the Lovers card. So it's like, okay, yeah, let's work on this. Let's have some balance. Oof. Somebody's trying to balance out their finances, I feel like, too. Or this is them trying to balance out... Them thinking about how they left you, abandoned you, maybe stopped talking to you, ghosted you, for some of you all. 
this person is definitely seeing what they did and how it affected you and they want to make it right Libra energy you could be a Libra your person could be a Libra you could be dealing with the king of pentacles I just saw the king of pentacles some of you all somebody had you in a third party situation I just saw Taurus energy and Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy with the king of cups and the empress show me more here about the situation please for the collective Ooh, three of pentacles. Somebody's trying to make something right here. See, this person knows the moon. Cancer energy. I think this person's hiding their emotions. I feel like they're also hiding their money. I don't know what that's about. Or even if that has anything to do with you, per se. Mm -hmm. Page of wands. Somebody secretly... Somebody wants to tell you some secrets. With the moon... And the page of wands, somebody wants to tell you a secret. Somebody wants to maybe communicate something secretly with you, to you. There goes that emperor I told you. Whatever this is, is shocking. I'm going to clarify this emperor though, because this could be, you know, with the emperor being here, Aries, Aries energy, right? I feel like this is somebody who I told you I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the emperor here. The, the last card out was this page of wands, right? So with the page of wands and this emperor, this could be shocking news. This emperor might have something to say. Scorpio energy with the tower. Hmm. What's clarify the emperor here, please? Four of Swords. So, like I said, this person is holding back. They're not saying anything. Not right now, they're not. Show me more about this Emperor. They're holding back, I feel like. Show me more about the Emperor, please. Hmm. 4-4. Four, four. The 1944, the number 44 could, could be significant. Somebody could be 44 years old. They don't have to be. Hmm. I feel like there's some silence going on in somebody's home. I don't know how that fits in or where that fits in yet, but there's some silence going on in somebody's home or somebody's taking a break from something going on in somebody's home. I just saw the Knight of Swords. Somebody could be tired of fighting a situation or a person in their home that lives with them. Show me more about this Page of Wands. Ooh. Show me more about this page of wands. The queen of wands almost popped out, but it did. Show me more on this page of wands. Gemini energy, the magician. All right, good news. Show me more on this page of wands. Okay, whatever this is, this emperor wants to talk about, it is good news. With the magician and the nine of cups, oh, it's good news. So what's this unexpected? What's this tower? What is this tower here? Ooh. Unexpected news, unexpected communication, unexpected action. <laughs> Can you tell us what it is, though? We know that. Thank you so much. What's this tower with the Eight of Wands? Ten of Pentacles. Can I get more? Thank you. <sighs> Three of Swords. There was that Queen of Wands again. Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Somebody was giving it to people. Somebody was giving it to people. Somebody's at a stalemate on what they wanted to do and who they wanted to give with. Give to. Who they wanted to give to. All right, let's move on. Let's see. <clears throat> so, hmm. This Queen of Wands could be the one. This Emperor is heartbroken over Queen of Wands, or this Queen of Wands is heartbroken. Mm, Ten of Pentacles situation. Somebody here could have a family, or this could be a family situation. Somebody could be heartbroken over a family or a contract of some sort here. Um, but we'll see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Hmm. Why is the Three of Swords here? Whoever this is. Oh, okay, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, you guys. You guys. Um, someone, 
I feel like there's someone here who gossips and talks about you or there or maybe I well there is somebody that talks about you with this talking about you energy. The thing is, I feel like you either A, you work a lot, right? And somebody's talking about you, or I feel like, you know, it, there could be somebody that you dealt with because the emperor is here. So this means that like, obviously somebody here could, this emperor could definitely be the one who's a workaholic, right? And the three, we, we just clarified the three of swords and these are the issues or the things that upset you, the things that broke your heart, the things that made you unhappy. So somebody here gossips about you for sure. Okay, you maybe you didn't like what people were saying about you. Somebody may have tried to make you look like you were, um, I just... <laughs> floozy or like a, a home wrecker or something of that sort here there's definitely some gossip spreading about you or somebody here could be talking to a therapist about you somebody is talking to somebody about you regardless i don't really know i don't feel like it's good because the pathological liar energy is here this person has a low self-esteem the person who has low self-esteem is the person that's lying about you and the person that's lying about you has some form of addiction. For some of y'all, it's a drug addiction. For some of y'all, it could be sex addiction. I don't know. It could be alcohol, substance, whatever it is. Somebody's got a vice. And one of those vices is not being honest. But again, I feel like somebody's getting karma for that because the justice card is here with the five of pentacles. This person is getting karma and they know why they are getting karma, unfortunately, okay? Someone is also here, even though this person is a workaholic or like they try to pretend like they're too busy working and not being concerned about you, that could be further from the truth, okay? Because this person is secretly stalking you on either a fake social media account or they're obsessed with you some kind of way. They're lurking and watching you in secret and they're really like really really concerned about you so i feel like there's somebody here either your either it's your person or someone in your person's energy who's trying to make you out to be the bad guy um and they're talking about you gossip whatever that gossip is all right mm. show me more here about this emperor what's going on with this emperor please yeah, this is the person who is full of shit. Because why would they have to prove anything? Maybe this is your person wanting somebody else, a copycat, a third party. Maybe their third party is the person spreading gossip and lies, running back to your person, telling them stuff. And they they want this copycat to prove it. They're like, oh, no, not my person would never do that. Or they're like, you know what? I'm so sick and tired of hearing X, Y, and Z. Somebody was living a double life here. There's some third party something going on here. That's just it. This person is not for you, but I'm telling you right now, somebody's watching you on the internet. Someone's in your business, concerned about what you're doing. Show me more about this emperor, please. There is someone in this emperor's energy, because I really doubt this emperor is trying to copycat you. <laughs> Somebody else is, I feel like this third party is... They are either a trying to convince this emperor that you are not th that that you're not your person's. How can I say this? They are trying to convince, or they've said something, or did something, or gossiped and told some lies, or trying to convince this emperor that you are not their person and they are their person. And all this person is doing is watching you on social media. I don't know. I feel like this person definitely wants to be like you. They're definitely copying you because there are several cards out here that are talking about a copycat. Somebody's trying to dress like you. It's, it's weird. And I feel like the thing is, this emperor is noticing that. This emperor is noticing. <laughs> they're noticing that and they're suffering. They're in this five of pentacles energy. They're suffering. They may be suffering because, you know, I don't know. They're, I definitely feel like somebody's pockets, finances are being affected here. And somebody's waiting and they're working on their finances in the background because they're in this form of lack here, seven of pentacles waiting on some shit to, 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 they're waiting to pick the fruit 
from the investment. They are finally able to pick the fruit from the investment, pay the pinnacles, eight of pinnacles, and then like they're like, okay, this is good. <clears throat> but I still feel like there's a form of lack here. For some of y'all, the third party could just really be a thief. They could have been emotionally manipulative towards your person, or they are being emotional. Or this hell, this could be your person being emotionally manipulative towards you. They, somebody here lost something, and somebody damn sure for sure is a, a pathological liar. They're not honest. What else do we have? What else does the collective need to know here about this situation? Libra energy. I feel like you guys um, are done with the situation, but this person is still holding on to hope. They're just hanging on to the star energy, you know, trying to hold on to a little bit of love, hoping that you haven't let go. They know that this is all, damn, you're done, but they still feel attracted to you. They still feel drawn to you like a moth to a flame. Didn't I say somebody's watching you all? Look, look at this shit that just popped out. Fake account, social media. We just talked about that. And then we got fishing for comments. I'm telling you, somebody is all up and through your comment section. They're, they're paying attention to what you're doing on social media, whatever it is. This somebody is being very nosy. Again, this could be your person or their <laughs> or their person. This is so funny. Somebody feels like, oh, hmm. Somebody's giving money. This is for some of y'all. This whoever this other person is. Oh, okay. Somebody here could be getting a divorce over a third party. That's what broke up a family. This Ten of Pentacles situation with this Queen of Wands and this Three of Swords. Okay, this person wants to come tell you like they're getting a divorce, right? Because the, the the Justice card, Five of Pentacles, is here. So this person is getting a divorce. They are afraid they're going to be taken for everything that they have. Justice card. Five of Pentacles. That's what they're afraid of. This con They're afraid this contract is going to take everything, <laughs> take everything they have. That's why they're over here in the Seven of Wands and this pay waiting. Like, okay, let me work on, let me work all the damn time and get my money straight. Right? The Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. And then, where's that workaholic card? Where is it? Because they are working their ass off right now. I know, here it is. Yeah, somebody working so much, they're sleepy. Somebody's falling asleep at the wheel, you guys. Collective. <sighs> Somebody's working real, real long hours and they're really burnt the fuck out. Somebody here could be an entrepreneur. This person's in their feelings about how much money they're going to have to give this person. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have got, not could have, somebody did get caught cheating. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands tells me somebody definitely did. Okay. Could be a Leo, could be an Aries, could be a Sagittarius. Somebody sitting back and also thinking about there's somebody in this friend group who betrayed them too. There's somebody in your person's friend group who betrayed them. I feel like this doesn't really have anything to do with you. Unless you were the third party. Now I'm just saying, okay, I don't I don't know. I'm just saying. You could be the third party or you could be on the side. You could be this ten in this Ten of Pentacles energy. And this is now your person reflecting on like the people they thought had their back who wouldn't snitch or whoever. So maybe somebody in the friend group snitched on them. You know, now that's why this person is so unhappy and depressed and sad and in panic mode because they're afraid that they're going to have to be giving money out in the with this divorce, maybe paying child support, maybe paying alimony. You know, there was definitely some form of physical fight and altercation here with somebody between two people, maybe even three. Especially with fake friends being here. Definitely some arguments. Definitely some drama. And I feel like this emperor just has no peace. They don't, they don't really get any sleep, you guys. 
But the thing is here, this was part of, yeah. See, now this person is realizing, this emperor is realizing, realizing, excuse me, they're realizing that this is a part of their purpose. Like they're supposed to learn a lesson. And so now they're in this hangman energy in solitude and Virgo hermit energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces here, but I mean, it could be any zodiac sign. But they're realizing like, oh, you know, this is happening for a purpose. So now this person wants to be alone because they feel like, hey, they can't trust the fake friends. <clears throat> they're about to get a divorce. You know, everything in their life is going wrong. This person is miserable, unhappy. They're sad. They're in panic mode. They're scared. They're in deep regret because now they feel like not only do they have this other drama going on in their life, they're having money problems and they regret walking away from you. They ran away from you. Maybe for some of y'all to go be with this other person. Or maybe, you know, you were the queen of wands and they lied to you about their situation. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know about people. I'm just saying. And it looks like here is somebody's limitation. If somebody got somebody pregnant, for some of y'all, they may have gotten a third party pregnant. Somebody else could be pregnant. I don't know. Somebody's pregnant. <laughs> Ooh, the drama, the tea is real tonight, honey. It's, the tea is real. Somebody's, that's why they so damn panicked. Because somebody's pregnant. And it's in their feelings. It just came back out again. Mm -hmm. Let me move to a different day. Show me more here about the situation for this masculine, please. <laughs> Man, listen, somebody's definitely online. Okay. For some of y'all, this this masculine's business could have been displayed online. It could they could have been embarrassed publicly here. Some compromising pictures may have been posted to social media this karmic could somebody could have embarrassed this person and now this person is trying to figure out what can they do to get themselves out of this fucked up situation and be free but see the thing is you see this brainstorming and freedom the thing is is like you can't avoid it the tower is here this emperor is not going to be able to avoid it um, can you be free? Yes, but not without um, consequence. Justice is here. You know, not wishing bad on anybody. I'm just reading the cards. Like I said, now this person is worried, concerned, and in panic mode. They're worried because you're actually doing quite well here. I feel like you guys are too busy not paying attention to what this person has going on. You're too busy winning, having fun, and this and this person is talking about, again, gossiping to other people, how you seem to be doing well, how you seem to be unaffected, and you are unaffected, I feel like. I feel like you are. Now, you could be talking to your... Somebody here could be a nail tech. Hmm... Or somebody at your nail salon has a crush on you, by the way. Or you have a new crush coming in, okay? You might meet this new crush at a nail salon or something. But anyway, so since you kick... Somebody... Okay, here's the thing. This person either A, was kicked to the curb by this person they were either had kids with, the person that they were married to, or that they were in a commitment with because of this Queen of Wands, or you kicked this person to the curb. And since they've been kicked to the curb... This person is just like, I'm telling you, they're panicked, they're shit. This person is concerned, they're worried, okay? They, they really are panicked and scared. Because whoever this is, I feel like it's going to try to take them to the bank, okay? This person is out there, yeah, this person's out there. <laughs> Ooh, this person about to lose their mind. Oh my gosh, this person is at their breaking point. They feel pushed to make a decision here. The, 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 this is stress, pain, headache, nervousness, numb, loneliness, panic, depression, fear, trouble, anxiety. Somebody here could even be, I see miserable. I see migraines. I'm telling you, somebody, the thing is, 
these tactics may have worked in the past on this person or they may have worked on you but i feel like this person is realizing whatever it is they did is played out it, it, it's just not it's a no what it, what does this have to do with the collective please because the empress are you the empress some of y'all could be the person that you had a family with this person. Some of you all could have a child with this person where they view you as their divine counterpart. Or we're talking about this because this is your divine masculine because the emperor is out here, right? Here's the emperor to the empress. So just put yourself like where it goes, okay? Could be a Taurus or an Aries. What does this have to do with the collective, please? Uh-oh. What does this have to do with the Empress? There, you're, yeah, remember we saw this page of Pentacles earlier? You may have a child with this person. Some of y'all might be having a baby with this person. Um, or this, you could be the one they wanted to make this offer to. Right? Because they, they're thinking about this choice. There goes the Queen of Wands, King of Cups, the Chariot. Hold on, let me see. Hmm. Give me more here. What does this have to do with the collector? And this Emperor came back out in reverse and two, two of Pentacles kind of came back out in reverse. But I feel like bottom of the deck is the nine of swords the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here on the bottom of the deck this person knows they, they gave they're in their head about them giving the two people they know they were wrong they know they juggled I just can't tell if you Divine Feminine are this Queen of Wands or or this Divine Masculine. For some of y'all, it's going to be different. Some of y'all are the Queen of Wands and some of you guys are um, the Empress. And this person took the offer somewhere else. Okay. Um, But the thing is, this King, this Emperor, right, took his feelings. I feel like he just doesn't know what he wants. He knows he has feelings for to both people. Because this King of Cups really isn't looking in one direction or the other, right? The Empress and the Queen of Wands are looking towards each other. Um, but the action the action that this King of Cups is taking is a Two of Swords, which tells me they don't know what the hell to do. You know, and what followed the Two of Swords was the Emperor and the Two of Pentacles. They still don't know what to do. For some of y'all, they would have juggled the hell of both out of you if they hadn't got a card. Show me my hand. How's this emperor feeling about the empress? How's the emperor feeling about the empress? They feel like you are irreplaceable. That's how they feel about you. They feel like nobody else could match your energy. No one could love them the way that you love them. That's exactly how they feel. Like, yeah, irreplaceable and inseparable. Hello. Somebody's name could be Isaiah. Their name could start with an I here. Irreplaceable and inseparable. They they know there's nobody else that's gonna match their energy like your fucking energy. Just period. Despite any distance between the two of y'all, despite whether or not whether you're talking or together or what the fuck ever, it doesn't matter. No one compares. They know they made a mistake and they want your forgiveness. Neglect. They know they failed to give you what you needed. Neglected. They know they want your they want your forgiveness for being neglecting you. But is it too late? Because this person is struggling over the past and they are miserable. And I'm not saying I'm not making excuses for anybody. But this person definitely has some bad habits, and we've already talked about that. And this person is really, truly, like, 
they don't know if they really have the ability to change. And are you ready to accept something that, that they, someone who doesn't know if they were ever, ever be able to like really change for you and give you what you need? Some of y'all know this person has habits and they're not going to be able to change. So they're just going to continue to give you space or you're going to continue to give them space. If this person is too, this is how they're feeling. But if this person is like wanting to give you space here. It's because they're trying to get their life together and they know that their habits, that you deserve more. You deserve better. Um, or this could be you saying, no, I need more time. You know, sabotage energy. You know, this person knows that they messed up good, the good stuff in their life. They do, but they still have hope and they're doing a lot of reflection. Okay, it says, being away from you has allowed me to gain, gain clarity. So now they're in this hermit mode, like I was saying earlier, right? They know they did some damage. They're still hoping that you haven't given up on them. This person knows that they're lying and they're cheating and they're setting the floors, deceptive ass, wearing a mask, behavior just sabotage this whole, this whole thing. They know that. But they're hoping that you haven't given up on them. Man, I feel like this person was pretty arrogant. They thought they were going to get away with it for as long as this would have continued. Or as long as you would have allowed it, they would have continued to do it. And that's really, truly what I, I see here. So what does this person want to say to the collective, please? Sweet Memory by Vivian Green is on. Maybe go listen to that song. There could be a message in there for you. Sweet Memory by Vivian Green. She's the one who sings, I'm on an emotional roller coaster. Loving you ain't nothing healthy. And look at what came out. Wild side. Loving you ain't nothing healthy. It's an emotional roller coaster. Hmm. <laughs> There's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. Mm. No. <laughs> nervous. You make me nervous. Even when I think about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. So you intimidate this person. I mean, you are an empress energy. I don't know. You know. If you're the empress and the Queen of Wands all rolled into one, which I doubt here because there's 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 two women. It says, unblock me. I miss you and I want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak. I have a lot to say. <laughs> this person is not even prepared to talk to you, even if you were to unblock them. You feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. Uh, they want to let you know that they are single. I told y'all. The kicker is, for some of y'all, some of y'all, they might come towards you and say they're single and they lie and they full of shit. Be careful. Use your discernment. You have free will. But a lot of y'all, they want to unblock you. That's the good news. They want to tell you they're single or they're separated or going through a divorce or they are divorced from that person. All over this third party shit. You know, let me see what this person wants to say to you. Do we have any final words here for this emperor? What does this emperor want to say? Sex is the best. Sex is the best breakfast by BJ the Chicago Kid is playing right now. So go watch Sex is, well, or listen to Sex is the Best Breakfast. BJ the Chicago Kid. <clears throat> the timing just wasn't right, right for us. So this person, I hid who I really was from you. And they did. They were definitely wearing a false mask. I mean, we talked about that. I want to be more than friends. My life is not together as it seems. And I told you that. They're miserable. They're unhappy. They're depressed. They're panicked. They're worried about their finances. They're worried about this person they were with. Somebody taking their money or embarrassing them. Or they already got embarrassed. I don't know. I just... It's a lot of drama. 
It's still not in the brown box. I regret lying to you. This person lied to a lot of people. Whether you know it or not, they lied to you and like two other people. Okay? You're not the only one. You're not the only one. It's time for me to heal. So now this person's like, maybe they're realizing, you know, this the situation didn't work out. They're doing a lot of reflection and they know that there are some things that they need to work on. There's some things they need to heal. There's some this person used to be really quite arrogant. <laughs> arrogant so to the point where they feel like they still have a chance with you. They still feel like they have a chance with you. So they know they hid who they really were from you. So my thing is, do they expect for you to, who do they expect for you to fall in love with again? Or like, if you were to take this person back, they hid who they were from you originally, who they really were, but when they want to return and reconcile, what version of themselves are they going to show you? What, what version of, the, of themselves are they going to show the collective? Are they going to show the fake version that you fell in love with? Or, or you know, the collective probably saw, saw through this person for who they were in a day no way. You know, you guys, a lot of y'all, y'all are really woke. And y'all can see this stuff. And it's just, and maybe you, you saw it and you just just missed the red flags. Or you just really love this person unconditionally. And you've learned a valuable lesson. So, you know, sometimes it just takes for us to experience it and see it. And then learn from it, right? But, like, low-key, it's just, like, like, it just, how dare you, though? Because when you come back, are you going to show who you really are? You know? Are you going to be authentically in yourself? Mm -hmm. Only you will know that. So, pay attention when this person comes back. Because I do feel like you're going to hear from them. You'll hear from them. So... Oh, you know what? Let's pull. How long is this reading? 37, 37 on the clock. That 37 could be significant. Or 37, 37 could be significant for you. Give me a few messages here for the collective, please. To close this reading out. Independence. Look at you. Going through a death and rebirth. You're meant to learn how to be alone so you can thrive by being on your own efforts and be your own hero. You can be a Taurus. Again, the Empress is here with the April energy. Or it's meant for your person to be single and learn. But I feel like this is you. You're learning. You learn. I feel like you learn or you're currently in the process of learning how to be independent and not codependent. Yeah. Yay. Look at you guys. Look at this. Look at this. What came out? Independence and last test. So this this was your last test, you guys. And I feel like you passed. Still the same. Still the same person. Nothing has changed. But have you learned your lesson? Until you learn the lesson, spirit is saying you're going to continue to go through this with this person. <sighs> I'm going to end the reading there. Because I feel like you, you got what you need. If you 